right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with the one and only, the Hellraiser, Joshua Frazier. How you doing after your victory today? Uh, you know, once again, man, I just want to say God, I'll shout out to God and, you know, you guys for, for capturing the moment, man. I appreciate you guys for this. Thank you. Um, I feel good. I feel really good. Uh, the job was done well. Uh, I got a lot to work on, um, believe it or not, but I do have a lot to work on. And we talked uh, the last time out about actually your performance tonight, yeah. uh, whether it was, you know, a, a show-stealing performance. And, yeah, 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 we say, did. And to say this, the least, it seems like that's what it is I as of what, right now. I did what we do. Um, I actually had a second round TKO for the people that weren't here tonight. Um, once again, big shout out to the way in. They're always there, events, no matter what city it's in. I've seen these guys in New York, all around town. So at the end of the day, tonight was a good night. Uh, my opponent came out and he was, he was very prepared for the fight. It just seemed like I was on point a lot more. Um, timing was nice and I felt good. I got a lot to work on, like I said, to stay down on these punches. So what's some of the things you got to work on to stay down on the punches? Yeah, I could tell you guys that much. I, I want to stay down on the punches, uh, popping up a little bit. And that's been my problem. Um, Transition from the basketball to the boxing has always been a problem for me, but uh, we're gonna do it And I'm gonna be high, highly a little bit more disciplined with it and we're gonna do it So um, definitely tonight the the uppercut I uh, was working there the one two uh, the left hook definitely was there the right yeah. hook was there um, But the emphasis of going to the body is working from the body to the head um, in This performance was that something you practiced in camp this time around? That's actually something I do um, Most fighters haven't been able to make it back to the head so you guys know we're gonna break down the body. I'm, I'm gonna let the hands fall, and then we're gonna take the chin wide open. Um, like I was saying, I gotta stay down, tighten up some of the work, and uh, just, just remain focused and confident in what we do. 100%. Um, I'm ready, and I got a lot of training to do, so I gotta be ready for that too. So, so what's next uh, for the Hellraiser? Are we talking uh, a step up? I know you yourself, you're ready for, you know what I'm saying, the best of the best all yeah. competition, but what would you say um, is next uh, after this performance here, you know, 5-0? Yeah, September 9th, September 9th. We're bringing a guy in down to the CAA Center in Brampton. He's gonna be from Ireland, actually, so I can't wait to get back, um, you know, some of that UK blood. I've had some rough times in the UK earlier in my, in my boxing career, so they know who I am and then they know this is no joke. So we're here. We're here to. Sh I'm here to stay, um, and I got a lot to work on. I can't get that. I can't emphasize that enough, bro. Even though it's a good night, everyone in there is happy and all. Me, I'm, I'm one of my hardest critics. I, I got a lot to do, bro. I got a lot to work on, and it was a good fight. That's the. That's the best part about it. You see, you see all your peers around you winning titles, NABA, Doesn't bug uh, me. Canadian title. Um, not about it bothering you. Um, what did give you motivation, as you said, to continue sure. to work in the gym and, and wait for your turn uh, next? And when would you say that would be next? Early 2023 or late 2022? Uh, I see, everyone probably thinks I'm going to go shoot for a Canadian title, but that's going to be the last title I ever want to get before I retire. I'll mm -hmm. tell you guys that right now. Um, trying to go for the world rank. I got three three things I want in the world rank, and that's what I want. Um, the team is with me on that on that goal. And uh, if we need to fight rank guys to get to the rank, I'm down for that too. So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a camp with a contender for this not this next fight or maybe the fight after. So that'll be good for my health. I think that'll be real good for me to be around people who fought for that spot that I want. So I, I so you're saying um, what what sanctioned body would you say you'd be steering more towards fighting for? Uh, for the rankings, it's huge. It's huge. The so WBA would be one of the least, one of the least bound for me. WBO being one of the top bounds. Um, I would go for WBA. WBA. Um, I go for WBA, and then you know the next two. Those are legendary. They've been around forever, and um, I really think those are significant to my life um, as a person, as a boxer, as you know, an aspiring father, aspiring coach, and uh, you know. So the legacy we tend to leave behind is going to be built off of that. So the WBA rankings should be looking out for the Hellraiser. Yes, sir. Um, trying to just climb up the rankings, not fighting whoever is in the way, and obviously you're putting on devastating performances along the way. Yeah, every everyone in the way is an opportunity, and, and it's just an obstacle in the way for us to to have that life that we want. Beautiful. Well, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. After a sensational second round. <laughs> Nasty left hook if you're in the left hook, no? It was a right video on See? the chin. <laughs> I thought it was the left hook. It was my bad it was the left, but it was a right hook. Nasty nonetheless uh, uh, dropped his opponent, but that was the second time he put his opponent down and he didn't manage to get up this time around. So the Hellraiser moves on um, for another opponent, all challengers. Definitely in the WBA ranking. That's what we're working towards, but also anybody else 
in the way you can get it. Thank you, Francis. Greg, I, um, the Wayne team. I really appreciate you. I know you guys are the team. I appreciate you guys the most. Appreciate and, uh, it. Thank you for covering my, my, my legacy that's gonna come, bro. There you are, man, Thank the you, Hellraiser. Guys. Big shout out to everybody watching. Stay tuned. Box Talk's coming. Stay on the way in. Man, we're here all week, so you guys know.